How to make your office chair more comfortable. Do you know the feeling when your butt slowly falls asleep and your neck is getting stiff from sitting in front of your PC for too long? When you just can't find a comfy position on your office chair anymore, no matter how you turn and twist yourself. I certainly do, and a lot of people can probably refer. Also, not everyone has or is willing to spend the money for a $1,000 ergonomic chair. So let me show you how to make your office chair more comfortable with a couple of tricks and gadgets. Thus you won't have to spend a fortune on a chair but still, get rid of the discomfort. Also, you will prevent a lot of risk factors and diseases that come with sedentary work. So let's dive into the tips to make your work comfier. How to adjust your chair? The very first thing you need to keep in mind is that you need to adjust your office chair or desk for the proper ergonomics. Even the best ergonomic chair won't help you if you don't use its adjustments in the right way. There are two ways to start, depending on your office furniture. First, adjust your seat and find the right seating position. Then adjust the table height if you can to fit your seat. But most desks start at a height of 30 inches. That can be a problem for shorter people because they won't reach the floor with their feet anymore when adjusting the chair to the desk top height. Adding accessories and additional products. Ergonomic office chairs. When you care about your back and overall health, you want to invest in an ergonomic chair. It'll give you more options to adjust your chair to all of your body proportions. There is no perfect height for your chair according to your there is no perfect height for your chair according to your body height, so just ignore those tables you find online about that. Every person is different, and those tables only give you a very rough estimation, because we strongly differentiate with our proportions. Armrests and pads. Personally, I've been looking for the perfect office chair for myself for quite a while before I made a decision. But after using the chair for a while I noticed one of the things that really annoyed me. The armrests were too long. The chair armrests were padded and super comfortable, but when I tried to get closer to my desk I couldn't, because the armrests blocked me from it. Thus I couldn't rest my arms on the top comfortably. I just removed mine, so I could comfortably reach my keyboard while typing. There is also another reason to remove the armrests. When they aren't adjustable and too high, or just not suitable for your body, so your arms can't rest on them relaxed forcing your shoulders up, bringing tension to your neck. Lumber pillows. A lot of desk chairs have a fairly huge seat, which can be quite uncomfortable for smaller persons with shorter thighs, that can impact the blood flow to your calves and cause some tingling and numbness. Naturally, you'll sit more towards the edge where your pelvis won't touch the backrest, causing a lack of lower back support and a bend over posture as well as back pain. The simple solution, support pillows. Any pillow you can find is better than having no support at all but you can also get a special lumber pillow for a couple of dollars on Amazon. Not only it'll make your office chair more comfortable, but it'll also save you from back problems in the long term. Seat Cushions One of the most common ways to make any desk chair more comfortable since the beginning of sitting is a simple cushion. After a lot of usage, any padding becomes weaker and harder. You can use a simple pillow in your household you can spare or buy a special seat cushion for sedentary work or even use memory foam. A footrest. Many of us have adjustable office chairs, but not adjustable desks. Even though I have a standing desk, its minimum height is 30 inches. For shorter people, like me, that means my feet can't properly touch the ground when my office chair is high enough that my arms can rest on the top. The tilt of the backrest. Finding the right angle for the back can be a little difficult. You don't want to lean back to chill, but sit comfortably and be productive. When you lean back too far, your pelvis will slide away to the front of the seat, leading you in an unhealthy C-shaped posture. If leaning towards the monitor, the folded posture will cause pressure in your hips and restrict the blood flow to your legs. Wheels. Most office chairs have wheels, but if yours hasn't, you should add some. They allow you to move around more freely and find the proper position faster. Wrist pads. Now we discussed all the options you have to improve the comfiness of your chair. But let's keep going a little and also improve the details. To prevent a tennis arm from computer work, your wrist your wrists should be straight all the time. Get a wrist pad to improve the angle of your forearms. Move around. 
There you go. Now you know the best tips to guarantee everlasting comfort while working on your computer. But there is more. Even with the perfect desk setup and seating positions, you should always move around as much as possible when you feel like getting a little stiff. Conclusion Making your desk chair as comfortable as possible can be tricky and a lot of factors come into play. Sometimes it's just not the right size or proper adjustments. But if you follow the tips and everything is properly set up, you can improve the comfortability of your chair by adding some extra products like a seat cushion with memory foam, an armrest pad, or a footrest. Sedentary work has a lot of negative side effects like back pain, weight gain, or increased risk for heart disease. So even if you have the most comfortable desk chair setup, you should always try to move around as much as possible and take active breaks to prevent sitting all day long. Thanks for watching our video. For more information, check out the links in the description.